I'm going to show you how you can take any image from the internet and bring it to life using Cartoon Animator 4. We will do this in four steps. Step one, you download the vector file. Step two, you edit it in a vector editor like Illustrator. Step three, you rig it in a PSD editor like Photoshop. And step four, prepare the 360 head in Cartoon Animator 4 pipeline. After you have the character ready, animation will be easy peasy. Now, before we start with the tutorial, you will need four things, okay? So let's make sure you have everything ready. First, you will need the file. So I don't have a license to redistribute this file, but I can share you the link where you can download it for free from freepick.com. The link is below this video. Second, you will need a vector editor. I will be using Adobe Illustrator, but you can use any of the other alternatives. Again, I'm providing the links below this video of all the alternatives and the vector editor will be will allow you to move vector points around so that it's pretty cool because you don't lose any resolution. The image doesn't get distorted or pixelated or anything and you can modify the character easily. So you can do little adjustments, right? Uh, third, you will need a PSD editor. I will be using Photoshop, but again, I will be providing alternatives so you can use other, other software, right? The alternatives and links are provided below this video along with prices. There are free alternatives and paid alternatives. And finally, you will need Cartoon Animator 4 the pipeline version. So if you have the pro version, I recommend you at least download the free trial of the pipeline so you can follow along with this tutorial. Or if you're ready to upgrade from pro to pipeline, check out also a video I posted below this video, right? Uh, it's, go, it's a link so you can check it out. Now, once you have everything ready, let's get started. Step one is download the file. This file is from AppCliac. I hope I'm not mispronouncing it, <laughs> but uh, it's free to use if you give them credit. I have a premium account, but I still like to give credit so you can use the exact same stuff I use so you can learn faster, right? Just click on the link provided below this video and get the file. And once you have that, once you download it, we move to step two. In step two, we open the vector file. I use Illustrator. And what I want to do is find the paths and vectors that have a blending mode that is not normal. For example, this one has a blending mode of multiply. Cartoon Animator won't be able to use it and it will convert to normal. So it will look like this. This is very bad. We don't want that. So I just delete that, uh, lay, that path. And I continue deleting all the parts that have weird blending modes. And then I select the whole face, copy it, create a new vector document with a size of 1500 by 2000, paste it there and resize it. After that is done, I put every single part of her face in a separate layer until I have something like this. A layer for the hair, the mouth, etc. Then we export everything as a PSD file and we move on to step three. In here, we open the file in a PSD editor. I use Photoshop and then I just make sure that every group folder is merged down into a single layer. In spatial locations, like for example, the nose and the lips that have a shadow with blending mode, I won't be able to just blend them down because they will look weird, right? They have to be in multiply blending mode. So for that, what I do is I take a part of the face, right? Cut it, copy, duplicate it, put that below the, the multiply layer and then merge it down together. So now it ends up looking like a single 
layer but looking right. And after every part is merged down into a single layer, now I can start rigging. But wait, before that, we will need to, a very weird looking shape around the head so we can turn the character very smoothly to the sides, uh, giving the illusion of a 3D for the back of the hair. For that, I just need to create this weird shape surrounding her forehead and making sure it goes outside her head. Don't worry, this will be masked and it will look good in Cartoon Animator, I promise. And it will look like this, all right? So after I have that layer, now I'm ready to rig it. I use the rigging accelerators to do this in a couple of seconds, but if you don't have those, then you can just bring the character template provided by Revolution and put every single layer in its corresponding layer. For, to save you the hassle, I provided the template in a link below this video so you can download it and just drag it into your project. Once you have the correct folder hierarchy, I will bring the template file and position the bones. This will help you control them easily in Cartoon Animator 4. Once we have it ready, we save it and we can move on to step four. In here, we bring the PSD file into Cartoon Animator. It will open in composer mode. We mask the hair so it's not sticking out of her head. And then we open the 360 head creator, clicking on this icon. And then I do a quick setup by clicking the quick head turn setup icon. And I make sure I set it for 15 degrees uh, angle rotation on each turn. And then I just do some adjustments on each. And after I'm happy with the results, I click apply. Then I do some other modifications using the deform tool uh, the, to adjust the shape of each layer when she's turning, giving the illusion of 3D, as well as positioning each element of her face. I do this for every single angle. After positioning all the elements of her face in every angle, we are done. And there we go. Now we have a character that can be controlled easily in Cartoon Animator 4. We can do head turns easily, giving the illusion that the character is no longer a drawing, but a character that is alive. This is a real being. We can move her face and also we can move her eyes. And that's it. This is how you can take any image from the internet and bring it to life using Cartoon Animator 4. For some of you, this tutorial is all you need to get started bringing characters to life, right? Now, if you need a more detailed step-by-step -step instruction, we are having a bootcamp next week to help all students take any pre-made character of your choice and edit it so it becomes original, it becomes yours, it will have your own personality into it, right? Whatever flair you want to add to it. And when you enroll to the bootcamp, you will also get instant access to a full mini course covering everything you saw in this video, but in a very, very step-by-step -step manner. I go slowly extending up to about an hour of detailed instructions that any beginner can follow. And if you're watching this from the future, hey, <laughs> how's the weather out there? Hopefully the world has not ended. You will have access to the mini course and the recordings of the awesome bootcamp. I hope to see you in the training next week or in the server because really, even if by the time you're watching this video, the bootcamp is over, if, if the bootcamp already happened, then don't worry, we will continue to provide live support to make sure every single student can bring images to life. That's what we want. So sign up for this bootcamp in the link below this video. See you there.